Harold ISD is an interesting place. It's a very isolated area, but we had some needs for security. We were moving through security, uh, passive security, cameras, etc. And several things happened to alert us to a need for more security. One of them is the Amish, Pennsylvania shooting in 2006. And that was a, a milk delivery man that came into the school, took hostages. So we had to answer the question, what do we do as a small district to answer the need for a, a shooter inside the school? I came up with a plan then. Our plan is very simple. We take some concealed handgun licensees and, and we uh, approve them individually by the board. And then we give them extra training. And uh, basically our screening process for these individuals has to be people that we know, that we've worked with for the past five years. We don't do psychological training or psychological testing, but we get to know them and we think that's key. In small towns, uh, I always like to say we know more about each other than we want to know. So we know about these folks and what, we, what they're capable of. The other thing that we do in our policy is that they have to have that handgun on them at all times. They can't put it in a dash, they can't put it in their purse. And so there's some security there as well. I think the thing that's interesting about it is that we haven't had any threats. Uh, we don't even come close to having any possibility for these types of things. And uh, it's been very, very uh, popular with our folks. We're, we're, a, we're an isolated group in the country. And I think that this is a policy after Sandy Hook that's been copied in, in, in the Texas by at least uh, 150, possibly 200 schools. So we think it's successful. We think it's something that other people can utilize to keep our kids safe.